Hello again and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to carry on working on the double page spread in Rita Berman's book Mien Reich Dirt Europa or My Travel Through Europe and um, I'm going to hop around all over the page but I'm first going to work on the flowers here and I will do the top section of um, the um, patisserie this side here and um, hopefully we can get a bit more done I am going to do my very best to wrap the this double spread up as soon as possible and then move on and to another project so let's get started okay so for this one I'm going to be using the um, dark purple and the mulberry dark purple PC 931 and mulberry PC 995 and I'm also going to bring in um, PC 938 white and from there we will be able to um, work on our flowers I'm also going to at a later stage highlight the flowers with a white sakura jelly roll and um, kind of give them that pinky white um, look to them so I'm first starting with the mulberry and you really want to take note of where your petals are um, above or under other petals as that's going to affect how we color them So I hope that you are all well and having a good week. Hope your January has um, been good. Off and the year off to a great start. So the reason these um, mini circle videos have taken a long time to release a new video it, I took a break in December to focus on Christmas pictures and colorings um, so I didn't want to um, overdo it and by f and miss out on my opportunity to color Christmas pictures so I just paused my progress on this book and this double spread and now that it's January I can actually focus in on it and work towards finishing it and I mean with this I am still really new to making videos and um, learning how to color and talk at the same time <laughs> it's quite tricky actually to um, multitask like this but it's, it's really worth the practice and I love the challenge so what I want to work on is creating um, videos more complete videos you know with complete pages at you know in these sort of tutorials or color alongs so um, I'm working on a few ideas one of them is to color and tape the video and then only release it once the page is completely finished so that way um, you can color along with me and you have all those videos up there and you, you don't have to wait for me for such a long time um, so I'm hoping that will be more beneficial to you than me coloring and vide videoing and then releasing the video straight after so it's you're coloring it with me and almost like in real time so um, I'm, I'm kind of toying with those sort of ideas I'm, I'm already busy with the skin tone video um, and I think I'm halfway through the skin tone and I thought um, 
you know, I'll I'll publish those videos once I've got all of the skin tone done. I'll then release that video so that, you know, if you're interested in, in the skin tone and, and how I color skin, then at least you've got something complete to work with, in, you know, the whole face. And um, so I'm just going to be testing a few a few things um, as I go and I'm also going to be working my best to make sure that every page I start in a month I complete in the same month and if I run out of um, time then I need to maybe work on a whip and try and finish the whip um, so I'm hoping that will be a bit more reliable and beneficial um, from a just a coloring perspective and and making videos and that sort of thing um, so this one because it's tucked under these two petals and um, it's under this flower we'll just make it completely pink because it's not going to get much highlight through So I'm hoping that will work out um, better. And um, again, thank you so much for all your support and your patience with me as I work out um, the best way to create videos and to to run my channel. Um, it really is just a hobby. So um, having people just journey it with me is, is really of something I, I didn't expect and have really enjoyed um, so I do appreciate all your patience and your support I was thinking of also doing a page um, in this book with castle art pencils so let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested in um, I realized I've actually not tested castle arts in a Rita Berman book and it would actually be quite fun to see how they react to the paper. Um, so far Prismacolors are my favorite and I do need to test Polychromos. So um, if there's a specific page in this book that you would like colored let me know also in the comments and I will do my best to start planning a video for it and picking out colors and that sort of thing um, yeah and then I've, I keep at the back of my notebook journal um, all the ideas I get for videos and um, any suggestions you'll make so I have it written down and then I work towards making those videos for you
Okay, so now I'm going to take the dark purple and I'm going to go into the deeper shadows. So that's how it's looking down there and we'll just carry on the same thing at the bottom here. And again, I'm sticking to the same color palette and pencils I used for the other videos. I know some of the um, circles don't have a video for, but I'm going to do my very best to finish the entire spread going forward um, on camera. So that um, except for the patisserie and most of the but the picture with the bicycle and the houses um you should have the whole all of the circles on video and the reason for some of the circles not being on video is just i did the one video as a starter and um then i realized people were interested in seeing the circles colored um, but between when I did my first video of these circles and when I realized there was interest, I'd already colored one or two of the circles. Um, but going forward, I will do as many of my colorings in Rita Berman's books on camera so that um, you can follow along with me. I'm going back in with PC995. 995 mulberry because I just want to blend out the um, the dark purple I want it to be a clear sort of transition between where the um, shadows are and the pink of the flower because I'm going to use the white to pull and move that pink around and in order to do that properly I need to have sufficient pigment on the paper. Also with me going over it with the Sakura Jelly Roll, um, I am going to cover up quite a bit of the pigment anyway, so I want to make sure that I get the, a nice light pink on these petals.
So I'm also a bit stuck on the background. Um, I have a sort of idea how to color most of these circles, but I'm not sure how to tie them all together um, in the background. I have seen some pictures um, where they've used the the arrows on on this double spread and kind of colored different sections with different colors, um, which is one way of doing it. I don't know whether to give it a sort of like a map feel. Um, so I am a I am a bit stuck and generally when I get stuck on a page um, I kind of stop coloring because my my brain just free, <laughs> freezes over so um, I'm hoping by the time the circles are complete we would have found a way to tie them all together find that this particular double page it, it's so beautifully laid out and there's so much on it um, to keep the background simple I think is a good move you don't want to detract away from these beautiful pictures um, so if you have a main picture then doing a, a darker more exotic background can work um, it can add character to the page it can complement the image the dominant image um, but when you have small components and they pulling together to create one big piece you want a more well in my opinion a more subtle um, background to just tie it all together okay so now i'm going to use my white which is pc938 and I'm going to blend out the pink. Um, I always just clean my white before I start. So I'm going to start in the white area of the petal and go into the pink and then pull it out. There's no need to really go over um, the whole thing. I just want to go into the white and pull out and it will keep it looking quite soft without losing or milk, uh, milking up the part of the leaf, of the petals as you can see you can use um, the yellow combination that I I used for the sun you could turn these into beautiful yellow flowers and um, give them you know almost like a, a daisy kind of look to them um, so yeah you could do yellow yellow and then edges with white and maybe a bit of green and white in the center so that is an option you could change up the color palette altogether um, I mean, if you wanted to, you could even use the blues and have blue flowers. Um, it's entirely up to you.
Okay. I'm going to make the centers yellow with a bit of um, yellowed orange. So lemon yellow, PC915. Sorry, I knew I'd missed a spot. All right, so PC915 in the center. And I missed this one here. Yeah. Sometimes I see it and then I pick up the pencil to go back and I lose it. Oh. All right, PC 1002 and just on the Sort of on the sides just to give it a bit of, of um, character and so it's not so one-dimensional We'll just go around the outside of the circle. So it just darkens it up and leaves the center white. Sorry, not white, yellow. I'm tired today. I had insomnia last week. And I don't think I've completely recovered. And I've been reading a really great biography. Um, which has been a bit of a page turner for me, so <laughs> I'm not getting the sleep that I actually need. But it's self-inflicted, so I can't actually complain or, you know, blame anybody other than myself. Okay, so that's the flowers. Now we're going to do the rest of the roofing. And for that I'm going to use... Blue Slate, PC1024, Sky Blue Light, PC1086, and Denim Blue, PC1101. So firstly, we're going to start off with Sky Blue Light, PC1086. And I'm just going to lay a base color. Followed by Blue Slate, PC1024. Then the denim blue PC one one o one.
PC 1058, 90%. I think this is the French grey. And I'm using it to kind of deepen these shadow areas here because I don't want a bright blue where the awning is hanging down. I want it to have a gradient from very dark into a light pale blue. Then I'm going to go over it with PC1101. Then I'm going to go over it again with the blue slate PC 1024. Next up, PC 1086 Sky Blue Light. Right, if I bring out the Sakura Jelly Roll, I can show you on some of these um, the effect I'm going for. So I'm just where she's done her line art, I'm going over it with the Sakura Jelly Roll and I'm using that to create 
my petals I'm not going to do all of them because I want to do the background and I don't want to um, end up scratching it off so we will do some of the petals and then some of them will leave until the end I just don't know yet what I'm doing with the background so I can't um, quickly fill in around these flowers yet You can also use a white Univor Signo pen for this or a Posca pen. Okay, I'm going to stop there because I've gotten myself distracted and I'm going to do the drapery here in blue. So again, here, I'm going in with the Sky Blue Light PC1086. Then the blue slate PC one oh two four.
Next is the Denim Blue PC Back over it with Blue Slate PC1024. PC1086 Sky Blue Light. PC one o two four blue slate. PC eleven o one. PC1086 Blue Slate PC1101 PC one o five eight Alright, over here on the sleeve, I've already used Pale Sage, so now I'm going to go over it with PC1097. Back over it with PC1089 Pale Sage.
and I use that same combination for all the leaves on this side of the page here. So if I zoom you out, all these leaves here and down here I've used pale sage and moss green, except for this leaf here, which is a combination of the greens I have been using. So I will show you how I did this leaf and then we'll do it for these leaves here. So first up, I'm going to put down PC1006 Lime Peel. I'm going to zoom you in. So I'm just using the lime peel to put down a base coat on all these leaves with the same shape. Then I'm going in with grass green PC909. I'm going to go from the bottom out. With this picture, I'm not going to be making the leaves terribly different from each other or unique. I know in real life, leaves, um, they are unique. They don't necessarily hang the, same, hang the same or have the light hitting them in the same way. However, there's so much going on in this page. Um, I'm not up for the challenge of creating them very different. I'm going to come in with Kelp Green PC1090 and I'm going over it again. And this is just to um, knock the grass green back a bit so it's not too bright. I needed the grass green in this color combination to keep these particular leaves different from the other leaves I've just shown you. Then I'm coming in with the Moss Green PC1097. And I'm focusing it more at the base of each leaf.
I'm going to come in with PC1058. at the very base I'm going to bring in PC 909. And now I'm trying to blend these colors together and create my color combination so that they kind of moving from dark to light. Next, I'm coming in with PC1005 Lime Peel. And over in the highlights, I'm going to use Jasmine PC1012. Here I'm going to use the Calc Green PC1090. I hadn't finished this leaf, so let's just finish it quickly. Moss Green PC1097. PC1058. PC909 PC1005 and Jasmine PC1012 Okay, we've got these two leaves up here, so we're going to do the same thing. PC1005. PC909. PC1090 P 
PC1097. PC1058. Back over it with PC909. PC1005. and PC1012. I'm going to finish this flower here. Mulberry PC995. Dark Purple PC931 A bit more of Mulberry PC995 Followed by the white PC 938 in the white out. Now for PC915 and we're going to do these berries. So for this flower I did the same combination as I did for the other flowers. And I'm going to use lemon yellow here in these berries. And we will make this a yellow orange flower. PC1002 I'm going to use some dark purple PC931. Back over it with PC1002, which is the yellowed orange.
and then PC915 Lemon Yellow. PC nine for one, followed by PC nine four six. And PC nine one five. PC1090 PC909 PC1058 Dark purple PC nine three one, and we're going to create a blue black background. PC one zero eight six, PC one zero two four
PC PC one zero eight six. This is PC eleven zero one PC one zero two four. PC one zero eight six Okay, so there's one more circle done. Okay, I think I'm going to call this for tonight. Um, just zoom you out so we can see what we've done. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Do subscribe, like and comment below. Thanks again and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.